What is happiness? Is it having a family? A house? A car? I once knew a guy. His name was Marlin. He used to be so angry. I mean, he's good looking, has a nice car, a good job, and yet he goes to therapy. I didn't see anything wrong with him. I never did. It seems like these doctors give people drugs to make them think they're happy until they can be happy on their own. Happiness can't come from a pill. It can only come from reality. It's an emotion. It can't be prescribed. So I think we should start weaning you off your medication. What did you just say? This is pretty powerful stuff and not intended for long-term use. Extended use could cause some serious side effects. Look, Doc, I'm doing well because I'm on my meds. That's the whole reason I come to this goddamn place, so that you can cure me. Not just play games with my mind. Marlon, why don't you cut back for a week and we can reevaluate it at that time. I swear, if I get sent to jail because I can't control myself, I really hope you have the bail money to get me out. I'll reduce your dosage for now. If you have any problems, I'll increase it next time we meet. Sound fair? What the hell is this? That's your new dosage. You only need a week's worth. God, whatever. This is your day. Say to yourself, I feel grateful for having the option to choose what I want to do every day. Fucking asshole! What the hell are you doing? Believe me, you're in for a treat just as soon as Jimmy gets back here. Great Caesar's ghost, what's holding him up? You know I can't work without a good breakfast. Chief, Jimmy's bringing a box of Kellogg's sugar smacks. All the more reason for hurrying. Confound it, that boy knows I like those new sugar smacks. Hey, asshole. But I'm going to now. Well, I guess we all agree on sugar smacks. Right. Folks, don't wait. Get Kellogg's new sugar smacks. They're better than ever. Puffs of wheat, sugar toasted. Hey, and asshole. And candy sweet. You bet. Just get Kellogg's Hello? sugar smacks, brand new. A Northwest Mountie. And he's been trailing this desperate character for three years.
think you are? Excuse me? You cut me off yesterday. What's your goddamn problem? <laughs> you're fucking crazy. No, I'm not. I would just like an apology. Hey, asshole, you're the one who cut me off yesterday, okay? I just returned the favor. You came out of nowhere. You were just driving along and thought to yourself, hey, let me cut this asshole off just to fuck with him. It's not my fault that you're blind. I saw you on your phone yesterday. Bullshit. Marlon? What? You okay? Yeah, man, everything's cool. All right, just checking. Look, I'm sorry. I can be an asshole sometimes. I kind of have anger issues. Clearly. I wasn't on my cell phone. I was taking my meds. I told you you're crazy. <laughs> Let's start over. I'm Marlon. I'm Sasha. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. I'm an asshole. <laughs> I have issues, sure. I did say I'm sorry. Really? Because I think you just said let's start over. Okay, I'm sorry. Fine. You're forgiven. Cool. So, are you new here or what? New here. Yeah, I guess you could say that. What department do you work in? <laughs> new here, yes. Work here? God, no. Okay, then what are you doing here? I'm meeting someone. <laughs> Is your boyfriend or something? <laughs> You're funny, but I gotta go. But we just sat down. Mm, you sat down. I'm leaving. Wait, will I see you again? Not if I see you first. There was something intriguing about her. She made me nervous, but comfortable at the same time. Does that make any sense? I don't know what it is about her, but... Every day, for the rest of the week, I went by the lounge to see if she was there. And every day I was left disappointed. What made her so special? She was cute, sexy, but she was different than all the other girls. She was unique, but in a good way, you know? She was a bit mysterious, moody, kind of bitchy. She was kind of like me. And that's what's attractive to you? Oh yeah, I mean, she was definitely something else. You know, sometimes women can be the medication we need. Sounds like you had a different set of feelings when you met this Sasha. You were, you know, apologetic, tried to be charming. Did you get her number? No, she left before I could. I thought she was there to meet someone. You didn't see her after? No, I just went to my office after that. I see. So, how do you feel on the lower dose? Well, I haven't had any real episodes this week, so I'd say it's going pretty well. Great. So we'll stay with this dose another week. Yeah, no, Doc, I really like these. And not like I enjoy the high or anything, but I really think they're helping me out. Great. Here, continue with that, and we'll see where you're at next time we meet. Good, thank you. Thank you. You looking for me? No. No, huh? What if I was? Well, then I'd say you found me. You really think you're hot shit, don't you? <laughs> Something funny. Yeah, you are. I think you're hilarious. So you think I'm hot shit? <laughs> Look at you. You've got your GQ haircut, your expensive clothes, and your designer watch. And you think I'm hot shit. You know, I think you're overcompensating for something. Oh, whatever. I don't need to overcompensate for shit. I know what I got, sweetheart. Mm. What, are you scared? Of you? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> like I said, you're funny. I like you. What about your boyfriend, huh? I said I have a boyfriend. You didn't deny it? I didn't confirm it either. Then what is it? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> That's why I'm fucking asking. You have got a real mouth on you, you know that? It's gonna get you into trouble one of these days. Oh yeah, you're gonna punish me? <laughs> you must be dreaming. And no, I don't have a boyfriend. Do you have a girlfriend? You think I'd be looking for you every day if I did? You look for me every day. Now I feel special. I usually never have to work this hard. Maybe that explains why you're still single. You're single too, which luckily works out for me. Well, I was meant to be single. I'm what you might refer to as complicated. Maybe I like complicated. That doesn't surprise me. Why don't you just make things easier for yourself and admit that you like me? I gotta go. Oh, come on. The fun was just starting. Well, all good things must come to an end. Wait, can I at least get your number? That might be difficult. Why is that? Because I don't have a phone. What?
What are you doing here? Oh, come on. Is that how you treat all of your guests? How did you even find my place? Do you want me to leave? No, it's just kind of strange. Okay, fine. I'll go. No, no, no. Just stay. I told you you liked me. I like this place. Yeah? I keep it neat. I thought it'd be bigger. It's just me here, so the size is perfect. Hey, this is nice. Where'd you get it from? That, actually, I shot that. Wow. So you're a photographer, huh? I like to travel, and sometimes I use photography to calm me down. It's like a way for me to escape reality. Well, I think it's beautiful. Well, I think you're beautiful. Whoa! You think you can just kiss me? You barely even know me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. But you think you can just kiss me? Oh, shut the fuck up. Sasha! Sasha! Man, this girl is such a mystery. Sounds like you had a pretty unbelievable evening. It was amazing. I haven't felt this way about a girl in such a long time. Are you in love? No, you can't fall in love with someone after only speaking with them three times. So, Sasha, how, how did she get your address? I don't know. I really didn't care. I mean, she, she can show up right now and I'll do her on your desk right there. Yeah, please don't. So, who was it that she was meeting at your office? I don't care. Probably one of her girlfriends. Did you try calling her? She doesn't have a phone. So she doesn't have a phone, and you don't know how she got your address? No. I really didn't care. Probably my coworker gave it to her. So your coworker knows her? No. He came in and she saw him, but they never really introduced themselves to each other. So they didn't introduce themselves to each other, and you still think that he gave her your address? Why is this important? I'm just trying to figure this out. Figure what out? When she left, did she leave a note? Did she say where she went? Do you remember falling asleep with her? No! Doc, what are you trying to say? All right, Marlon, calm down. I think that this medication may have led to some serious delusional thinking. What are you saying? I imagine this? It's possible considering the change in dosage. What the hell are you saying? Okay, Marlon. Calm down. You need to have a seat. Fuck you calm down! What are you saying? I've been talking to myself? What, I jerked off and imagined it with some chick like I have an imaginary fuck buddy? Okay, Marlon, you need to hear this. You have schizoaffective disorder. It's a serious mental condition that causes break from reality and mood changes. I'm sorry, but this medication is not right for you. In fact, it may have done more harm than good. No, that's crazy. I am not crazy! Okay, Marlon, I'm sorry. There is no Sasha. What? You okay? Yeah, man, everything's cool. All right, just checking. This is your fault. I'm going crazy because okay. of you. Marlon, just calm you down. You piece of Don't shit. Got it. Damn. What is happiness? Is it having a family? A house, a car, happiness isn't any of that, happiness is an illusion.